Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the newly formed nascent kingdom of Frigoberto, the land that Frigoberto de Valencia has conquered for himself. I am Marcus Aurelius, the teller of this tale, and this is Mount and Blade Warband, Savanapum Mahayud, and we are now being given the option to change the domestic policy of our kingdom. So, centralization. High centralization reduces tax inefficiency for the king and raises it for vassals. Uh, middle's fine. Aristocracy or plutocracy? So high aristocracy will improve the relations between the king and his vassals, who will be able to raise bigger armies. Yeah, that's middle of the road is fine there too. I prefer plutocratic, but I do not want... I want my vassals to like me, and I want them to have large armies. Serfdom and freedmen. High serfdom reduces tax inefficiency... And vassals can maintain bigger armies, but troops lose morale. That's mixture is fine, I guess, as well. Troop quality. High troop quality increases the strength of troops, but decreases army size. We're a mediocre quality. Many soldiers. A good quality, a great quality. Let's go with a good quality army that's a bit smaller. That's fine. And mercantilism versus laissez-faire. Mercantilism maximize exports while minimizing imports and increase government regulation of industry. I guess neither particularly mercantilist nor entirely laissez-faire is fine. Yeah, I kind of like being in the middle. And Kingdom of Frigoberto. Now we have some things we want to do. We want to choose my kingdom's default culture. We're going to go with Tongu, as we said. And change your vassal's title of nobility. So the men who fight for Frigoberto, their title will be known as Frigo. And the women who are in the kingdom of Frigoberto, they will be known as Friga. So the Frigos and the Frigas. And finally, our kingdom's color. Let's go with green. The Shanner green, though. Let's see if it's a different green. I think it is. I think the Shan green's a bit darker. It is. Okay, so this is a perfect color for the Kingdom of Frigoberto. Actually, while I do like green, what's the, the kind of the teal is the color of our flag. Let's see here. There's no other blue that matches that, right? The Portuguese are kind of light blue. Yeah. You know, I like green, but we're going to stick with blue because it does match Frigoberto's heraldry, as you can see from the flag flying on the city. So now, Frigoberto must thread the needle See, he's being chased already by lay troops. He needs to be very careful and make it to his hideout safely. Look at, they're just coming out of the woodwork here. Crossing Yen Bai is going to be quite difficult in case there's a lord there waiting to strike. And, okay, see, here's where the problem starts. Ming deserters are chasing after me. It might have been smart to keep my Waco bandit leaders. That might have been a good policy. But Frigoberto is canny and wise. And he has made it back to his secret base. All right, let's get more Jutilenka Barts. Actually, let's only take 200 of them. Or this many, that's fine. Because I want to take more range troops. Excellent. Done. Okay, and Fu, you are ready to gain a level. Let's do that for you. Strength 18, more iron flesh. Excellent. Your archery is already amazing. Let's get some weapon skills here. And done. Alright, so now we should be able to make it back to the city without any trouble whatsoever. 
And since we are not at war with anyone, except for the lay, we are now making a ton of money, although we're losing a ton of money due to tax inefficiency. But Chinese settlement gave me almost 100,000? Holy crap! Perizno is nothing like this. Perizno, which is the only mod really where I've been a king. Let's get a Chancellor. I barely made any money at all. This is great. The Lei Dynasty offers you a peace agreement. Okay. Alright. How about you give me Dong Kin? Oh, it has to be a castle? Then no. We shall have no peace. That's interesting, though. They want champ. Yep, prominent nobleman. That's a good sign. They are so scared of Frigoberto Kuang Nin. All right. Well, for right now, for right now, I, the city is the the place that needs to be guarded. So give them the Kroon Guard, give them the Jatulinka Barts, and I'm actually going to take my bandits with me just to have some help here. Their infantry, though. You know what? We're not. We're going to take some palace guards next when we go to the hideout. We're actually going to give you the prisoners as well. So they won't slow us down. That was funny. Frigoberto and like eight people were leading around 50 prisoners. Alright, and also, let's manage the town. Let's build a messenger post. will probably be the first thing. 16 days. Ugh. Alright. Alright, so we have to be careful one more time until we get our palace guards. But we are moving lightning fast. They're attacking some peasants. Unfortunately, there's not much I can do about that at this moment. But wow, look at how fast we're going. That's exceptional. Back up to the secret base. Alright, so let's get... First things first, I want Palace Guard. Let's take an Honor Guard of 50 of them. And then more Jatulanka Barts. And Sharpshooters. The secret base has served Frigoberto quite well. Yeah, no one's even getting near us now. Excellent. And they're raiding the village. That is sad, but... The Portuguese have declared war against me. The Mac has declared war against me. The Lan Shang have declared war against me. Excellent. Let's manage the garrison. We'll give you the Sharpshooters and the Jatulinka Barts. And this is fun, I know, running back and forth, but it is kind of tense. Although now that we have 50 palace guards, there's very little that can cause us trouble. Even those 100 guys, probably. I'm not really worried about other nations declaring war on Picoberto. What I am worried about is the lay making peace with other nations. I want them to be distracted. Alright, more sharpshooters. Portuguese. Berserkers are not that useful. The Japanese are, though. They're great. Chinese crossbowmen, certainly. Musketmen, absolutely. And more Waco bandit leaders. Portuguese pirates? Alright, good. We are slowly filling up the garrison here. In fact, let's teach the lay a little lesson here. Messing with Frigoberto is not a good thing to do. There's the emperor of the lay. That would be a coup to take him. 50 palace guards, 185 sharpshooters. 
Not very good infantry, though. And he's going to have backup. So he's going to have more troops than I will. 433. Uh, you'll survive today, Emperor. I'll take this idiot instead. We meet again. Surrender or die. Charging is probably not the best idea. Because we're mostly ranged here. Let's have our support pull back a bit. Not too far. Oh, there's this divot underneath us, is there? I don't like that. They won't be able to use their... Come on. Now that you're a king, Frigoberto, you have to be a bit more brave. Dang it, someone... Ah! Alright. Screw it. Attack. Except for support. We will need you in the coming moments. Oh, the palace guard have pistols. I like it. The elephants are fleeing. Let's let them. Frigoberto will handle the infantry. Nice. Excellent. Our palace guards seem to be holding up. Nice. Frigoberto is getting much better at the use of the spear. Reinforcements. Knocked him off his horse. He's Frigoberto. Frigoberto de Valencia. His own kingdom is in his sight. But first he's gonna have to fight. Fight Frigoberto. There we go. You will not take my kingdom away from me. However, those of you who survive will be welcome to serve me in my kingdom. We welcome all. As long as they do not serve the petty lords of these lands. Nice. Rigoberto is just a spear-wielding genius. Excellent. Good work, men. My palace guards are thrilled. We lost one troop. One palace guard. We'll probably lose another couple now. Now we lost a musketman. But we showed them a thing or two. And more prisoners. But once we have a marshal, I think he might be able to ransom them himself. All right, back to Ling Son. Things are going well, despite everyone declaring war on us. The only thing that will be tough is if they come and attack the city with their large stack of all of their lords together. That, we could win it, but Frigoberto needs to be in the army. Because they will not win it, I think. I think the battles are decided based on number of troops in the event that you are not there. And this is my marketplace. And we're going to sell some things. Excellent. There's some food. Alright, let's get cabbage, white rice, sausage, well-made white rice. All the food we can afford. Excellent. All right. Now, do you have cannonballs? You do not. It's okay. Let's go check out our hall. We haven't even seen it yet. We've been too busy trying to guard this place. There's our consult of financial. There's our chancellor. We have Burmese vanguards, of course, because 
we are Burmese in culture, although they must be the Burmese version of the Jatalinka bars. There's a chest here. Interesting. Friga. Friga Nawaporn. Absolutely. Okay, we're not going to host a feast, but let's go... And you can have her join the retinue if you want, but I've learned that that's incredibly buggy. If she gets captured in battle, she just shows up randomly in another castle somewhere in the world, and you cannot even communicate with her. So I'm going to leave my matchlock here, along with my burgonet, along with my shield, along with two of my heavier horses, along with the pistols, the great long axe, the masterwork mace, so all this stuff that I don't need anymore. And the cartridges. So we'll lead with our saddle horses. Now, of course, if we lose this town, we lose everything. But that's what adventure is all about. So that's our household. Our larder. And hopefully it'll stay there. I don't know how all these different household things work together. Like, for example, I know the Chancellor has household possessions too. Okay, so it's the same one as... My wife. Excellent. Alright. Good, Chancellor. Consult of Financial. We have a lot of inefficiency. Let's, first of all, let's lower all of our tax rates. Because I want these places to be able to grow. And also because Frigoberto is just a really nice guy. And Chinese settlement, very low. Yes. All right. Manage five improvements. I want to build an improvement. Lang San. Oh, we're already building. Yes, right. Kuang Nin. Let's build a... Everyone gets a watchtower first. We have zero gold in the treasury. Fine, then. Let's give the treasury... 40,000. All right, Quang Nin, Watchtower. Napung, Watchtower. Chinese Settlement, Watchtower. All right, excellent. Tax rates have been lowered, so the people will love Frigoberto. And now he's going to go pick up some more garrison troops. It is nighttime. He should be able to do it well. Okay, so we have Napung. Kuang Nin. And where is... Oh, there's Chinese Settlement. I don't think I ever even knew that was there. So perhaps I can recruit Ming there. Tongu and Mac are at peace. It's fine with me. It's f Emperor... Yeah, I know. As long as it doesn't interfere with my construction. Which it might. I don't know. But we'll be back. We'll be back with many defenders. Okay, let's go with everybody now. Let's get the Portuguese. We're going to leave the fort captain there. I don't think we can take him even if we wanted to. The Conquistadors. Volunteer guards. More palace guards. We'll leave the Siamese berserkers for right now. They can guard the secret hideout. Sharpshooter. 57 hand cannoners. Yep, that'll be worth having. Seven, 66 vanguard that we'll turn into Jatulinkabarts. Excellent. The kingdom of Frigoberto grows stronger every day. Some Shan, some Lana gunners, some lay nobles. Yeah, it's probably better we have them fighting in the city than... Although they could surrender the city, perhaps. Who knows? How many men do we still have here? Not that many. We could demolish the base. I don't see any reason for that, though. It has 287 guardians currently. Let's see. 
Let's save Napu. Whoa, 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 whoa. They don't want to fight me, but at the same time... I don't want to fight them. Let's do it. So now that they split up, we'll, have, we'll fight them on two at a time. Surrender or die. Let's go. We have much higher quality than they do. We have like something like 60 palace guard, maybe 70. They will find that we are not easily defeated. Support. Eh, it's okay. You can fight. I'm sure you'll survive. And look at all the elephants. So many elephants. Come on, Frigoberto. Let's take out some of them. There's one. Got him. Next. Got him. Ah. He escaped my wrath. Now, I know in normal combat, you probably aren't able to ride through elephants. But, that is just a secret skill that Frigoberto learned from Ninja Masters. Who support his desire to make a benevolent and loving kingdom in the heart of this land. Oh, really? A little closer. We keep hitting them, but we don't actually do the business. Someone got him, though. There we go. Good job, Frigoberto. Excellent work. Oh, that's one of mine. Sorry, sir. Man, we are just the destroyer of elephants. Oh, you're one of mine, too. Sorry. Surely our foes must see the futility of standing up against us. In fact, it's probably better to fight the lay in the field army at a time to weaken them. Because that'll prevent them from working together. Although I need to take Don Kin at some point. That'll deprive them of villages and tax revenue. Because right now with Ventian and Chang Chang Sane or whatever, the one the ones that take 48 hours to siege, the Lei will pretty much always have those. They'll be the last cities of the Lei to fall. So we need to make sure that their other cities fall quickly. Alright, more troops up here. Ah. There they are. Camp follower. Done. Croon guard. Done. Done. Well, not, not done. How dare you survive! That's unbecoming. Oh, very good. Very good, volunteer guard leader. Excellent work. My palace guard have done great things. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your greatness. We lost six. But no palace guards. Alright. Here we go again. You dare, you dare fight the armies of Frigoberto. I I mean, this is your homeland. Well, actually, it's not. This is the homeland of the Mac. So the Lay are conquerors as well. This is not their home. This is the land that they took and spilled blood of the innocent. So I have no qualms taking it back from them. And I'm sure they weren't taxing the people at a very low rate. Nice. It gives me special joy to go after elephants and just crush them. Of course, guys, guys, it's easier for me to kill the elephants if you do not block me. Oh, whatever. There's one of my Portuguese. Wow, he's firing on the run. Very cool. Hello, everyone. The armies of Frigoberto on the march. Guys, seriously. Seriously. Oh.
Where are you going? You just got here. Oh, my palace guards are amazing. I gotta check and see what the Tongu cavalry is. Hopefully it'll be somewhat as good. Not that I expect many of these guys to die. Just a few each battle, though. Over time, it will whittle down. Yes! We have won. Again. The lands of Frigoberto are safe. And yet, the Lords of the Lay keep escaping. They escape the wrath of Frigoberto. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we have successfully garrisoned our city, and we are defending it to the best of our ability, but the armies of Frigoberto cannot be at a standstill. Our nation must grow in order for us to be powerful. So, next episode, we shall try to take the city of Dong Kin. They are close enough together that Frigoberto should be able to go back and forth between them to defend them, depending on which one, if any, is under attack. So, once again, I am Marcus Aurelius. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.